So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of an MST hub. Now, uh, what exactly is one of these? Well, before I even go on to say that, I'm going to introduce myself. So this has been Jacob, or this is Jacob, uh, from the Black Ops Studios. So we're going to be unboxing uh, a Club 3D Times 4 Display Port uh, MST hub. Now, uh, what exactly is this? Basically, what it is, it's one to four. It's a one to four adapter for Display Port. Literally full display port, if I had one here, I'll show you, but it's like, out there, but anyway. Um, so basically, what this does, is of course, like I said, it's a 1 to 4 adapter, so you literally you get one display, co display port cable, you get four cables going to four different monitors. Now, it comes in a variety of different sizes, you get one display port to another, you get one to two, one to three, one to four, and this four being the biggest. Now, why would they bring out one of these? Well, you see, the problem, well, I wouldn't say the problem, the bandwidth in the display port is quite large. Um, big enough for, like, an 8K screen. But now, if you've got three 1080 screens, or even four 1080 screens, you've got the bandwidth still there in that one display port cable. So, it came out with this. They thought, let's take advantage of that, and let's make it possible for a 290X, which is only can do the four displays, um, overall, to then have seven displays. So essentially, uh, on the 290 for example, one display port, two DVIs, and a HDMI. So that's seven displays. And you take the display port port, the display port port, wow, um, as having four. So four plus number three is seven. So uh, you'd be able to have six monitors there and then still power your 4K screen for your movies or whatever. So that's how that kind of goes. So we'll get this out and we'll talk a little bit more about exactly what is actually on the box. Um, so it's from Club 3D, and there's something here that says Sense Vision, which seems to make itself look important on the box. Um, so yeah, basically on here it says, uh, Club 3D MST Hub, which actually I'm pointing out that means it stands for Multi-Stream Transport Hub. Um, uh, and what it does, it enables the connection of display, display source to a four display port supported televisions, monitors, or projectors. So, you get the MST hub, you also get MST enabled monitors, and you also get MST enabled projectors. Um, so I decided we'll go for the decent monitors with FreeSync, even though it doesn't matter with this because it disables it anyway. Um, and go with MST hubs, monitors, or you know, projectors to have. But yeah, you could do one or the other. Or the other. So, now on the back, uh, nothing amazing. I mean, it points out, oh yeah, you could do iPhone it because of this. And then it says dual mode with uh, laptops, uh, um, but we'll actually get it out since this is an unboxing video. Oh. So, it's one of those slow falling boxes you see. I'm terrible. So, we've got. Okay, that's cool. So this is just a nice little specification of display parts. So maybe you can see that. Can't see that. Can't see that. So we'll put another thing up for a photo of it anyway. So basically it's explaining about available dis um, bandwidths from different display port types. So you get the 1.2 display port, the 1.1a, etc, etc. You'll see a screenshot of that. Eh, or something, I don't know. Um, so we'll go over that maybe, but then I might just link it because we're lazy. Um, so we're getting the actual hub now. That is what it looks like. See, I've even kept this here because I've already been using it. So, that's what it looks like. One display port into your graphic card and then four out. That's from the Club 3. Um, so you've also got a button on the back and a power port. The button on the back is to rescan in case you're changing monitors. For some reason. Or maybe if there's some sort of bug or something and you just rescan them. So that is that. And the rest of the box, we've still got this lovely bit of foam. We haven't really particularly packaged it well, because under here is the plug. But what's happened is, it may well be me that's not packaged it back properly. We got some nice puzzles in the back of the foam, because the box isn't big enough. So, and here they've rather nicely given you a display, a mini display port to display port, and that's it, which is nice. And you've also got. Cable. Yeah, it actually requires external power, and then the other part of the power cable, like you would on a console or something. 
So that would pretty much be how it looks. I mean, we'll have uh, sort of screens going up and down, left, right, and center with all specs and all sheets and stuff if you really want to have a look at them. All of that, just like I say, I'll put a link in the description so you can have a look yourself. Anyway, once again, this has been Jacob from the Black Apple Studio. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and lastly, forget to do dislike. So, once again, this has been Jacob from the Black Apple Studio, and goodbye for now.